Okay guys, so I have a whole basket here full of single eyeshadows, small eyeshadow palettes, and a few pigments. And so I'm gonna go ahead and go through these and declutter them. Now I did have some NYX pigments that I decided I was gonna keep all of those. I'm keeping all my ColourPop, all my Unique pigments. So I just figured there was no point in bringing those over because they're, I'm not gonna go and get rid of any of those. So these, when I first started doing makeup in a salon, we actually used Bedhead and these were the um, brands. Actually, that's not true. First I used Mirabella in the first salon I worked at. The second salon I worked at, we used Bedhead. And so these were some of my favorites and you know, I really, I've had these forever, but there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with them. There's something that I need to bring out because they are beautiful and super pigmented. This is one of my favorites, this taupe shade. It is so beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and keep these, but I have one more and it's in, um, these four colors. And I don't find myself reaching for these, this blue, white, and pink. This one, um, I don't really use, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one along. Okay, next I have a little Coastal Scents quad. I kept this, I did like a whole makeup declutter a few years ago, and I kept this, but I, I didn't use it in the entire year, I never used it. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this as long as well. Next I have two Mirabella pigments, and I'm going to keep both of these. I did use these in a look for one of my Wacky Wednesday looks, and they are gorgeous. There's still a lot of product in these, and so this is something I'm going to keep. Okay, e.l.f. Eye Transformer. This was one that was a maybe last time I decluttered, and I had some suggestions on how to use it. The honest truth is, I'm just not going to. I'm not going to take the time it takes to put this on, put another shadow on. When I have amazing shadows from ColourPop that are like iridescent and all that stuff by themselves, I just don't see myself taking the time to use this, so I'm going to pass it along. Okay, next, this was a MAC, I don't know how many shadows are in here. It has like six. Um, when I first got this, I didn't really like it. It had kind of a hard film over it, but since then I have really started to use it more and these two shades here, especially those um, burgundies are very, very beautiful. And so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. Okay, so these were shadows that I thought I might use on my Wacky Wednesdays. Um, this Fergie one I use in a tutorial, and I know you guys like it when, you know, I use drugstore products and stuff, but honestly, I I never, ever, ever reach for this. I got a Nipsey bag. I never reach for this, so I might as well give it to somebody who will. Same thing with this. Um, it was fun to get kind of a limited edition Wet n Wild palette at the time. I mean, they are super, super pigmented. You've got the green and the blue, but... I just don't find myself doing green and navy looks enough to really um, justify keeping this. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass this along. Now all my MAC singles I'm going to keep, so I'll pull those out. Um, some of these are in my project pan, and you know, I, I kind of regret buying this color just because I don't use it that much, but it is beautiful. It's one of those things that if you could just swatch makeup and carry around on your hand all day, you would or just looking at it, I'm like, oh, it's so gorgeous. I don't wear it on my eye enough, but I don't feel like with the money I spent on it that I'm ready to let it go. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this. And then I'm gonna keep all of my um, singles. I wish I could get a Z palette and just depop these. That would be the best choice actually for those because I just use things that are in a palette so much more. And, and just in case you're wondering, I'm actually not going to get rid of any of my palettes. I love all my palettes and I switch through them. So I'm gonna keep all those. Okay, this is where it starts to get a little more difficult. Um, Urban Decay and Sin. I've actually hit pan on Sin in my Naked palette, so I'm going to keep this because I feel like that is a color um, that's just a great universal color, and I really do like that one. Okay, these Alps Baked Shadows. These I also bought for a tutorial. They are very beautiful. Some of them are dupes for the Urban Decay. This purple one broke. So it's missing a big chunk of it. It's a very beautiful purple color, but I have a lot of purples and I think I'm gonna pass this one on. This gold one is just extremely dry and the color is just okay, so I'm gonna pass this one on. Okay, these two are a little bit harder. Um, this one is Toasted, which is a dupe for the Urban Decay Toasted, which I have. And this one is just, mm, they're very beautiful and buttery, but I'm just thinking like, 
If it came down to it, I would always pick a palette over these and they're not gonna get used while I have a bunch of palettes. And if it came to repurchasing, I'd probably just wanna buy a different palette. So I think I am gonna pass these on. Okay, next I have two Ulta's. Now I actually, I bought this one not too long ago, but actually let me look at this. I think that Tarte color might be almost exactly the same as this taupe color that I'm keeping. If so, then I probably should just get rid of this. Um, yep, yeah, it's very similar and this one's more pigmented and this um, burgundy is probably gonna be similar to this. Yeah, they're similar enough. These are more pigmented. This is not as pigmented, so I'm gonna give this up. This glitter eye top coat, this is something I was trying to find a dupe for, the pressed pigments. And it is very, very pretty, um, don't get me wrong. I just, I'm not using it. And it kind of had a fake overlay spray on top of it. And when you get down to the product itself, it's very pretty, but it is a little bit chunky and there tends to be a little bit of fallout on it. So I think I'm gonna pass this on. Now these Mica Beauty, I thought that I was gonna wanna pass these on, but then, I don't know, I started thinking about it and I, and I did swatch them before I made this video and I kind of changed my mind. <laughs> that is so amazing. I, it's, oh my gosh, it's so amazing. And I swatched it next to some of my NYX pigments and I was like, no, these, these are different. That is like liquid gold. I, I need to be using these more. These are stunning. So I'm gonna keep these. Okay, these color tattoos. These were in a video of products that I regret buying. And again, a green, I just, I'm not wearing greens enough. I'm trying to pan my Urban Decay shadow box, which has some green in it. So I'm gonna pass this on. I'm making a mess. And this purple, I mean, it's kind of the same thing. I'm just, it's a pretty dusty color, but I just don't find myself using it. And it's nothing spectacular that I feel like I can't live without, so. Okay, so now we're down to three NYX shadows. Now this red shadow I think is unique. I don't really have anything like this and it's kind of this bright cherry. And so I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. Now this bronze shade, I feel like, you know, I went through a stage where I was really into orangey bronzes and I just, I'm not into them as men, much as I used to be. So I think I'm gonna pass this along. And then this, when I bought it, I thought it was gonna be like a purple with more glitter in it. I probably thought it was gonna look something more like this. Um, but it actually is an exact dupe for the Naked 3 black heart color. And I mean, I don't know how I could possibly use this all up. I don't wear enough smoky eyes to really justify keeping this. And that one hasn't even hardly been touched. There's not even dent in my Urban Decay Naked 3 one. And that's the one I'm gonna grab for before this every time. So. I'm going to go ahead and pass it on. Alrighty, so for a quick cap, I'm keeping my Mirabella pigments, my MAC pigments, one NYX shadow, these two um, MAC shadows, my three bedheads, one Urban Decay, and some Mica Beauty. That's what I'm going to keep. And I'm going to give up or donate um, these quads or whatever those are, all of these, and my elf shadows, my Ulta shadows, my two Nick shadows, two color tattoo shadows, and this Coastal Sense quad. So this is everything that I'm going to be donating. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the stash. Next, I just have to do my lipsticks. And I think that's pretty much everything that I need to declutter. I have a few extra primers, but I don't really hoard a lot of foundations and concealers and bronzers. Um, I only have a few of those, so I really don't feel the need to go through and declutter those because I just don't have a ton of them. So I think I'll just do some lip products and I should be good to go. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.